This is probably about the worst place to be recording right now without a microphone because it is super windy. And I also got these wind chimes behind me. But with the power of AI and the DaVinci Resolve, you can basically flip a switch. It's like magic. So let's check it out. And just like that. Now, how do I sound? Can you tell the big difference? <laughs> I bet you can. But anyways, that's not what I'm here to talk about. And that's not what this channel's about. I'm going to talk about why I made the BMAD method. And I guess I really should talk about why am I doing this in the middle of a 95 degree heat wave, very windy day. Well, I just want to get outside and there's a little bit of shade. And I have been, it seems, just locked in front of my computer for weeks working on the B4 upgrade, getting it pretty solid and ready for you guys to use it so it's easy to use and easy to install there's now a built-in installer you can watch this video i showed how to use it with almost every ide works great with claude code cursor ru and more ides with rule settings are coming real soon but i want to talk about what the bmad method really is because i think if you understand this it will be much more powerful for you but also it's going to help you make it your own. And ever since I started V1 of this back a few months ago, the idea was not necessarily at first to have people pull it off the shelf as is and use it. I was trying to share an idea. And the idea was how powerful is a platform for a programming language where the language is English. So I had this idea a couple months ago. And shortly after that, I think about the time version two was out and I was working on V3. I think it was Sam Altman that said, old people, I guess like myself, think of the LLMs as like an advanced Google, but the youth think of it and treat it like a programming language. And I realized that is what the BMAD method already was, right? By taking these different personas and putting workflows into them and tasks and templates and conditions. If this, do that. If that, do this. It really sparked in me before I even heard that, that this really is in and of itself, not just a tool, but a platform. Since then, what's becoming really popular is agents. And what are agents? Agents are nothing but natural language instructions running on a platform that can execute them with an LLM. The future, my friends, is in natural language coding. And I truly believe it. That's why in V3, it hit me that this 1 million context window and the optimization that is going on in Gemini 2.5 Pro is so powerful that we didn't have to have all of these agents be separate. We could actually put all of the agents together in one massive file and build the BMAD orchestrator, or the BMAD agent, as it was called in V3. And it's actually able to transform into all of these other personas and know based on which persona it is, which tasks it can run, what parameters to run the task with, what to use for inputs, when to complain if it doesn't have the right input. What are we talking about? At the end of the day, we are talking about nothing but another programming language Maybe it's built a little bit inefficiently because it's natural language and there's a lot of processing power that goes into processing these things. But we're building up logical sets of prompts and rules to control a machine. At the end of the day, natural language in English is the programming language. Around the same time, a friend told me that he believes the future is nothing but agents and data. Now think about that. What does that mean? Agents and data. That means natural language instructions running on a machine and the data. Data is not going away. You control the data, you control the money. But everybody's going to be building agents. I think that's a lot closer than we even imagine. And just a few days ago, Andrew Carpathy the guy who you may know is the tweeter of the Vibe Code, but his foundational video just explaining how LLMs worked when ChatGPT came out a few years ago 
was actually really groundbreaking. And I think his explanations of LOMs was much better than his vibe coding tweet. But I think that's what he'll be remembered for. As I was working on V4, though, his video came out a few days ago. I'll share this link in the description because it's a good watch. Pretty much all code from the 1960s up until the early 2010s was source code as you know it, right? It was Fortran, COBOL, C++, Java, C Sharp, Python, .NET, Node, right? But it's all just software. But then engines of neural networks came out and this Pi, which was all the software, started to get eaten into. And slowly these neural networks are doing a lot of processing. What you might know is like ML or AI before the LLMs started doing a lot that we never imagined. And that started taking away a little bit of, I guess I'll call it market share from the overall pie of all source code. So imagine that from 1960-ish, maybe even earlier, all the way until about 2014, that's really all there was. And then like that, it shifted. And this other thing started to emerge until about... 2018, 2020, and then all of a sudden there's this new thing on the scene now, which we know is the LLMs in natural language processing, or basically English. This is the third wave of software. Natural language, English, or whatever language you speak, prompting natural language to the LLMs is now coding starting now and into the future. So on here, when you're using the BMAD method, you know, you're using it in cursor or whatever your IDE is to produce source code, classical source code that has not changed since the 1960s. But look at the BMAN method itself. Really dig into there. Read the architecture file in the docs and look at what gets installed in this dot BMAD dash method folder in your project when you're using this. What do you see in there? You can understand this code because it is the code that you have been speaking all of your life. It's English. It is programming and instructions, all the natural language to build up an agent framework that you can use day to day to help you. What does that tell you though? Well, what that tells me is this is a new wave of language that is going to eat the rest of the software world. And the future is literally going to be agents, or natural language LLM instructions and data. This is the future, my friends. It's a great time to learn software engineering principles and practices, and it is still a good time to learn actual coding languages like Python or JavaScript or any language you wanna work on. It's not going away, those skills translate. People that have this experience and are good at this, they can master vibe coding, but they can master understanding what is going on when they're vibe coding and they are going to be able to be the true masters of this third wave of coding that's coming so this is a little bit of a different video this time so if you've watched it this far thanks for watching my name is brian really do enjoy this community so continue to check out v4 of the bmad method and we'll see you soon back behind the desk with a more normal video where i'll be talking about some of the other new key features of the v4 method and also doing a full app build. So thank you everybody.